Hello guys, Daily here, and today we're gonna be comparing the iPhone 16 Pro Max with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. We all know that Apple and Samsung are the biggest competitors when it comes to the smartphone market. Mr. Cosby Boss already did an in-depth camera test with these two phones and chose his winner. So we're gonna do something very similar, we're not gonna compare only the camera, it's about the battery, it's about the game capability and all the things that people are looking for when they decide should they go for Apple or should they go for Samsung. So let's start with our comparison. One of the first things that I'll start with is the design. This is the iPhone 16 Pro Max and here is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So. Apple decided to go for rounded edges comparing to Samsung and I have heard some of the complaints about Samsung is that it's not that easy to hold and it actually on the edges when you hold your phone like this might be a little bit too sharp. Yes, they're not sharp like a needle but still the complaints were that it's not that easy to hold when Apple is very good but the design there's not that similar. Apple has three cameras on their design. It looks exactly like the iPhone. 15 Pro Max and the S24 Ultra has five cameras. But doesn't more cameras mean that the phone is better or sometimes less is better than more? Otherwise, for the design, yes, they're both gold with titanium. They have a variety of colors and the prices are similar with a little bit of difference depending on, of course, the storage that you are choosing. But overall, look, the designs, they're very simple, casual, and at the same time, they talk premium phones. Now, let's move on to the base specifications of both phones. The iPhone 16 Pro Max starts at $1,199, while the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra starts at $1,299. Both phones start from 256GB, you can upgrade to 512 and to 1TB, 6.8 inches, 120Hz for the S24 Ultra and for the 60 Pro Max we have 6.9 inches again at 120 Ultra. So we also have 12 gigs of RAM when it comes to the S24 Ultra and 8 gigs of RAM when it comes to the iPhone. A18 Pro, the chip of the iPhone 16 Pro Max and Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 for the S24 Ultra. 5000 milliampers of battery to the S24 Ultra and 4,676 when it comes to the iPhone, which also kind of makes a difference when it comes to the battery life. Even this is the best battery life in any iPhone up to now. The camera, one of the main things why people buy for 48 megapixel main camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, and 12 megapixel telephoto when it comes to the iPhone. We have 200 megapixel cameras on the Samsung S24 Ultra, the main one. We also have 12 megapixel ultra wide, 50 megapixel camera, 5x zoom, and 10 megapixel 3x zoom. So, are these specifications enough for you to switch from an iPhone to a Samsung or the opposite way around? Or you need to see both of these phones in action? One of the reasons why people buy phones, especially if they're content creators, is because of the cameras. So I will show you a few pictures so you can see the difference yourself. They are shot on the iPhone 16 Pro Max and on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So you can see the difference by yourself. Here is the first one. As you can see, with the 16 Pro Max, it looks slightly darker, while on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it looks a little bit lighter, as if there is the sun hits more and it makes it lighter compared to the 16 Pro Max, but the difference is not that big. Like there is not like too light on the S24 Ultra or too dark on the 16 Pro Max. It's just that a little bit of contrast that people see. So now we're moving on to the second picture where the differences are kind of noticeable. So now we have this beautiful flower. As you can see, it looks darker or more deep red on the Galaxy S24 Ultra and a little bit more lighter on the 16 Pro Max. So things have changed compared to the first picture that we saw. So as you can see, the colors look more vibrant when it comes to the S24 Ultra on this picture. And here is the third one. Again, there is a difference on the 16 Pro Max, at least for me, it looks like the sky, it's about to start raining. It's just a little bit darker 
more vibrant well again on the s24 ultra specifically in this picture it feels a little bit lighter like there is some light somewhere or maybe a hidden sun or something but as you can see it really depends on like what pictures you're taking the environment and also if you're taking selfies like portrait mode many people especially i watch uh, mr who's the bosses when he tests portrait mode is one of the important things for him during his test i have to say that this is where you notice the difference but also it depends on like what exactly you're using your camera for like you're shooting yourself more when you create content or the environments around you because this also affects like which phone will perform better another crucial thing when we're comparing these two phones is the battery life i already said that the Samsung galaxy s24 ultra has 5000 milliampers of battery while the iphone 60 pro max has 4676 these less than 400 milliampers of battery are game changer especially when you want to squeeze a little bit of juice more from your device so here we're gonna pop a picture this is from mr who's the boss's battery test so basically this is just when the iphone 16 pro max shut down and as you can see the s24 ultra still has 12 percent of battery more so this is the longest battery from all the iphones he compared the iphone 16 lineup with the 15 pro max and the iphone 14 as well so here we're gonna pop up another picture this is how long the battery test was for the iphone 60 pro max it was 11 hours 22 minutes which is pretty rough like 11 hours straight being on your phone to drop it from 100 percent to zero percent but what happens when we go to the s24 ultra here is the other picture 12 hours 31 minutes for the s24 so you can see this is almost like another hour of battery longer compared to the iphone so if battery is what matters to you the most maybe you should switch to the samsung galaxy s24 ultra but if this is not the only thing that matters to you maybe you should consider checking also the camera the speed the display yes apple intelligence will come with updates we do have the ios 18 beta version but the battery life i do have to say at least for me it's one of the important things because if i have a good quality phone with excellent camera maybe even up to 4k just like the samsung is doing but the battery life is very poor i definitely would choose something even if it's not that great just so it can last me a little bit longer when it comes to gaming both phones have the display the quality and the graphics but let's be honest, when these companies are presenting their phones, they show the most high intensive processing games just to say, yes, our company developed a phone that can do all this just in the palm of your hand. Of course, if you want to be a professional gamer, you're not going to invest in a phone, you're going to invest into a gaming laptop. But let's be honest, most of us, that includes me, I play silly games on my phone. Yes, we played stuff like maybe Flappy Bird or Candy Crush or any other simplistic game we don't play that many hard intensive games yes some of us do and they just keep testing out this on a phone can my phone do this when i'm on the go or stuff like this when i'm stuck in the subway or i'm waiting for something just play a quick game but most of the time we use our phones for many different activities or maybe i should say scroll on social media compared to playing games yes there are people who do this with their phones but personally i'm not one of them and this is why when it's advertising like a game, I say, cool, yes, you can do this. But because I don't use it, I don't see this like a difference between the two phones, which will make me switch from an iPhone to a Samsung or the opposite. But who knows? Maybe you will do this. Now to the question which many of you might have. Is this video supposed to make you switch from an iPhone to a Samsung phone or the opposite? No, it's really for it is able to show which phone is better at characteristically when we look at it. But of course, if you support a specific brand, it's most likely for you to get a phone or any device from that brand compared to the competitors, even if they did one thing right, consider this is the battery life. But I will say the iPhone is strongly better when it comes to the Samsung or exactly the opposite. Yes, the battery life is better on the S24 Ultra, but I won't dash out the iPhone because it also they did upgrades. Yes, they fixed their battery life, the longest battery life in any iPhone. This is why they say in any iPhone, not any smartphone. Here is the difference. 
the cameras also now are the best iphone camera this is why they said the best iphone thing they do not compare it with other brands because someone will find another brand that does this specific thing better than the iphone but we'll switch to a samsung or not or we'll switch to an iphone or not i personally believe that switching from an android to an android will be easier than an android to ios or the opposite haven't used an android phone in a very long time maybe the last time where i actually had an android smartphone was eighth grade and now like few years later i'm stuck in to the iphone and i do have to say that I'm happy with my Yes, in the beginning it was a little bit weird for me because the apps looked different, like the way they were positioned, but I quickly got used to it because I use my phone so much every single day that it didn't make that big of a difference. But it's your choice to which device you decide to get. Okay guys, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below which team are you, team Apple or team Samsung? I ask this a lot, but I'm just curious to see what you guys think and how opposites think. This doesn't mean that there is a winner, it's based on people's preferences, which do you like more. So let's say that I like the iPhone, someone says Samsung is so much better, starts pointing at me this, this, this and this. I say, okay, but you're not gonna make me switch, I just like the company and I'm gonna keep with it. And this is the same thing for people. If you support a celebrity, a brand or something, you just stick to it no matter how many key points they people point to you about the competitors thing. So when it comes to technology, it's the same thing. You either like a brand or you don't like it. Us people say like you either like Apple or you don't like it. You get like half of their products and say, oh, but Samsung does better at these things. But anyway, that will be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button. You can like this video, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.